Welcome back. So, our tournament's about to get underway um, sometime soon. There'll be an eight round schedule today, five rounds tomorrow. If I do happen not to play all 13 games and say maybe I want to watch tomorrow's coverage and or something comes up, I'll let the tournament directors know. Uh, eight games is a lot. Um, but the games are faster than some chess tournaments that you've perhaps been to. If you go to like a weekend chess tournament, um, either it's going to be a rapid tournament or it'll be like 60 minutes per player, 6-0. Um, so you typically have like four or even five games in one day. It's absolutely brutal. I once played in a international chess tournament, a FIDE rated thing called the Exhaustion Invitational. Uh, a nine round uh, nine round round robin tournament where ten players faced off over a series of weekends. And that was an even slower thing. I think that was two and a half hours per player. Um, but no, US in general has a tur uh, history of just running tournaments, um, getting as many games packed as quickly as you can into a weekend because people are busy during the week and can't just flexibly change their schedule as needed. Um, I see. So there's some need to make sure that there are enough players for each section. Or maybe there's a parity issue where... Um, I don't know if it's a matter of enough players or if you just have an odd number of players and buys are being forced. Um, okay, premier section, the top sections, both have an even number of players. So they're asking if a player won. Oh, good. Here we go. Tournament is ready to begin. Very nice. All right, we wish our opponent the best of luck. I mean, in chess, we say that all the time. In OMG words or Scrabble, you got maybe. I'm not sure exactly what that means. But it'll be fun. I play first. All right. Um, I'm a little bit confused right off the bat. Uh, a little bit confused right off the bat. So exchange is not a bad thing on first play if all of your possible plays would leave you with something sad. Um, I think I might exchange. Uh, all right, they also wish me good luck. So Shuppy is um, my opponent's name on this website. <laughs> good luck in your round one game. How kind. So part of the benefit of exchanging on the first play is that if you do happen to draw well, frequently you'll get to play a seven or an eight letter word on the next play. I happen to draw a WUD, so it's a little trickier than normal. Um, so what can we play now? Took me a second to remember that Enter submits the play. All right, can I dismiss the good luck in your round? The little, maybe it's best I not dismiss the banner up there. It does ever so slightly change my overlay. Let me see if I can dismiss it. Inspect. 
Oops, sorry about that. Pop out style. All right, so I wanted to inspect this element and hide it. This thing here. Or just delete it. There we go. Oh, right. That's a nice play. Um, uh, so what I look at is I'd like to play letters off or the high scoring tiles. I'd like to play the U or my doubled O. I again have doubled letters. Um, This is not the highest scoring play of all time. It does open lanes. ED is actually decent. I maybe should not have played that. So I'm trailing by 11. Uh, yeah, okay, the score finally fits on the display, so I don't need to read it out. Yeah, I hear that, um, if you're playing in tournament, uh, in real life, after each play, you need to announce the score. And I think the score you announce is the score of the play, not the total score. I should have been thinking about my move. Especially because I don't like this. I've got like the Fruit Loops dictionary. I don't know. Like, um, This is a way to play off a duplicated letter. I know it looks like I'm being obtuse, but I promise with the letters I drew, what I did kind of sort of makes sense. Um... If I had a more solid knowledge of what was acceptable in, um, well, I don't like closing the board anyway. So this tries to open the board and in fact encourages the opponent to build leftward and give me places to build. So we'll see if they do that. If not, maybe we build like Ego or something down here. Gouted? But what would I do? I mean, we've got Igloo. Ice and Igloo? Could that be a premonition? Um... Mm. This is got quite messy. I mean, that's the leave is terrible, but like the fact that I've been trying to get good letters has not been working at all. So I'm a bit discouraged by that. And I don't see too many other opportunities to score decently here. So I'm planning to exchange again. Um, we'll just make the best of it. So might as well score some points this turn, not get too far behind, and then exchange. But also we're trying to open the board while our opponent is trying to close it. I can't think of a word ending in J. Uh, 
It's five point challenge, so I might as well challenge it, right? All right. It's only five points. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I mean, the other spot's going to be taken. We know this spot's going to be taken, but one can dream. One can dream. It's it's totally going to be taken. Now, I just drew this tile. It's not like I planned this on purpose. If anything, the fact that I had this open shows just my lack of foresight. Um, so it's not like I did anything brilliant here. But I'm just trying to open the board because we're down. Hmm. And this is where a knowledge of the three-letter words would suit me well. Um, but I don't know that A-E-N is a word. I don't think it is. So, we fall back to the original plan, which does not score as well. Um, or do I go for it? No, this is not a make it or break it moment. We don't go for it. Uh... 28 is good. And leaves me... Well, the leaf's not that great. I don't like this leaf. Um, if I knew my fours, QAT would be decent. No, the leaf there is also bad. Yeah, let me do this. All right, I'm just checking if there are additional messages there. The good news about playing it here is that there's no exploit of this for extra points. They could use the open T line. They could use this double, triple lane somehow, uh, which could sting quite a bit, but only if they're perfectly set up for it, which they might be. It's a game with some risk. You got to take chances. Not every chance is worth taking, and I'm not playing everything right, but um, I had intended to spend more time this week studying threes and maybe fours. I don't know. Uh, that time just never surfaced. So we're playing with not too great of a word knowledge. So yeah, it is what it is. My opponent might have a blank and may either they have a blank or they have an S or they're considering do I have a blank or an S. If I had a blank or an S, this play I just made makes a lot of sense. Um, unless I missed something obvious. Wow. Impressive. But 
they did have a blank, and they found the bingo. I don't see any better play. Yeah, we're playing that. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to draw those letters. But this means my opponent actually opened the board? Why would they do this? To me that looks like an error. It plays an O, it plays the V, one of my doubled I's. Do I have a better play? Doubt it. I think this is a valid play. Hopefully it's not only in the other dictionary. If not, if it is only in the other dictionary, we'll find out very soon. Okay, that was an invalid play. Well, the letters I drew weren't that great anyway. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm getting dumped on. Um Now we've drawn two V's. I think Vav is a word. Um, mm -hmm. So I want to play at least a V and it maybe a V or a P. And Vav, I'm pretty sure, is a word. Uh, I'm looking up here. Nineteen. That's with the leave that gives. That's not good. Oops. 20. Yeah, I didn't see any way to go from the corner to over to the E. But of course, now I'm looking. Now that I might have a chance. There's nowhere to profitably drop the X. Mm. 
<laughs> uh, let's prevent the opponent from using those tiles. Um, I'm looking for something like flax. Pix does not fit anywhere that I see. Oh, no. Oh, uh, well, no, it's a, uh, they get to triple the X. That's not great. Um, I like that. <sighs> oh, well, this is interesting. I don't know that I've seen the NWL20 list. What's new in NWL20 anyway? It's possible something that might be absent in an older dictionary might be in this one. Well, let's pretend that's real. Uh, glittered? Wait, hang on. Tied. No, we got two vowels. This is going to be hard. Okay, I have to challenge at least one of those. Because this is one of those do or die moments, so if they did mess up, I needed to exploit. L-E-D is a suffix, perhaps. Girtled. Could be a word. Nowhere to put it. Yeah, why am I looking? There's nowhere to stick anything. L-E-T, like gridlet or something. But again, nowhere to put it. Um... There's one end in the bag for ING.
I mean, I'm looking at the upper left corner, but... Six tiles in bag. I still haven't gotten the end. The end's not coming. I mean, there's like a one in ten chance or something that I get the end, so it's not like I should bank my entire hope on it, but still. One tile in bag. Well, that's not good. It could be an end. How in the bag could be it? Uh... <laughs> oh dear. Am I really going to do this on the off chance that I get an N? It could spell like finger. If I. No, well, I'm missing a letter. Yeah. Hmm. There's not a whole lot of words I could spell even if I drew the end at this point. Oh, the end's already been drawn. Well, damn. And my opponent has, like, the word readies or something like that already set. What do we do? Hmm. 
It's not an NWL. Bummer. Well, we tried. So we know what our opponent's tile. We know that the R is in the bag since we were paying attention. Is this the best place to play? Oh, Vara? <sighs> I mean, Vara's gotta be valid. Else they wouldn't have played it. But... Mm, I trust them. Oh, FIC. If I Z S, it's not going to be a word. Um, They're taking the spot, but let's pretend they aren't. Them taking that spot. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that would be an outplay. So it makes sense. Unless they could score better, they should block that. I don't see a way they can score better, but I might score a lot better somewhere else. Uh, even if I don't end up playing all the tiles. So we get 12 and minus 6. Um... Can't do math at this point. Just go out. Oh, ran. Ran scores a lot. I should have blocked that with fan. Curiously, after having made my play, I could concede. To minimize spread. Uh, this doubtless breaks the spirit of some rule somewhere. All right, nicely played. Gao 
outed. Truly. Really? Uh, gouted. Huh. I was sure that that must be like having gout would be something gouted. But apparently not. We got away with one phony already. Alright. Round one score has been recorded. Good luck in my next game. Yeah. Yeah. Let's accept that. I don't know... Maybe we started a little bit late. We got a minute or two to analyze. Uh, so what have we missed? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, if I'm exchanging on turn one, what would be a sensible exchange here? Um, the analyzer. Oh, so OE was a decent starting play. Exchange EOO. Exchange EO, exchange OO. Okay, fine. So OE is better, even no, no, it's not. Now this is just a really primitive evaluation. Um, and here, oh, that would do it. Wideouts, that would be an awesome play. Uh, and then here, oh, I guess it's time for the next round, isn't it? I heard some kind of chime. But yeah, we missed a lot of words. Let's see how everybody else is doing. Round two is open. All right, let's get it on with. That chime was a really good interface decision. I guess our division finished faster than others. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. If everybody in our division finishes quickly, then that means more free time for lunch or dinner or whatever for our division. Mm -hmm. Look in my round two game. Again, we're going to remove that element because it's distracting. There we go. Well, brain is the first thing that comes to mind here. Raw. Wad. W-A-D. Ball, B A W L. But I want to use an I. I want to use the W. I think Ewe is. Hmm. That has me concerned already. Well, might as well challenge it. I'm not entirely certain. Oh! Oh my goodness. Well, we'll celebrate that. Um, I think this is a word. God, I hope so. We'll find out. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure what M-O-L-I-E-R is supposed to be similar to. I know there's a word mollify, M-O-L-L-I-F-Y. Okay. I'm mistaken. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is great. All right. Moiler. Yeah, I don't know Moiler either. Sorry. Uh, okay, it's valid. Well, we're off to an excellent start. <sighs> There's too much to know. All right, so brown, but that'll leave me with... I need to play an I, and I also need to play the W, and I don't know any words that had both of those letters. Um, I 
Yeah, I and eyes. Not the worst, not the best leave. I'd really like to keep the R if I could. I can. Yeah, that's better. I don't particularly like my leave, but I could do worse. I suppose I should have expected to draw an N. There are quite a few... Well, there's six N's in the game. Whoops. Well, shit. <laughs> My mistake. Um, hmm. I think I prefer, yeah, V and R have some synergy with, with I, and so we get like virus. Unfortunately, virus is not a botanical word, so that would not make us eligible for the prize. Um, hmm. If you say it with a really funny accent, you have Vinners. Um. I didn't like the double N. Double N and double D probably does not fit very well. Dang. That's, no, that's not a good idea.
Oh, we a we need an A for algae. That's why well, I'm so confused. Lineage. I mean, the AGE suffix is strong. Uh, but what do we do with the rest? So... I expect that kind takes an A hook. That could be an incorrect assumption, but I'm provoking my opponent, asking, what are you going to do? Because uh, they just played a five-letter word with some really fun letters in it, so I don't think they have good letters every single draw. Um... That's probably worth it. <laughs> yeah, I thought kinda was a word. In this case, I happen to be correct, but we've seen other cases where I've guessed incorrectly. What the fuck do I do with this? Wait, did we see something interesting? EU sticking an A at the end. Like, okay. Huh. I must have just missed clicked somewhere. But yeah, if there were such a thing, it would involve vowels on both ends of the word. Duplicated A. So you want to play the U and the G. We don't want to open column O. Although our opponent probably doesn't have the letters to exploit it. I want to play an A, a U, and a G. I'm pretty sure Ragu is just product name. Well, I say I want to play a U. It's more important that I play an A. Actually, IG has a synergy. Exchange is not a bad move on this board. There we go. Exchange is not as bad a move as I pretend sometimes it is. I saw, thought I saw this word recently. Oh, oh, geez. Uh, woogies. No, but no, oh, geez. I, I thought something like this was a word. 
Oh, goodies is a word for sure. We could play it right there. Is that a good idea? Uh, I don't see anything better. Still looking for something better. No, there's no way that there's another seven. There's no way. Strict. Writ. We have one vowel, that's why I'm not finding a seven. But W R I T looks fine. Unless there's a way I could play W and C at the same time. Seems unlikely. It dawns on me, I should download these games. Yeah, produce a database yeah, so I can start analyzing games at some point. I know they talk about GCG as files, and I don't like the notion of having more files in my file system. But, um, surely it's something I could store in a database. Databases are good for keeping track of data. <laughs> the S there. Uh, that S is not worth 20. Uh, it is worth 20 points, and we'd be playing it for less than 20. So let's just keep it, even though... Oh, hey, look, we got three vowels. Mirabilegic 2. What a miracle. Um, Truiest. <laughs> uh, Suddier? Mm. <laughs> Just need to play a T. Where do I play a T that doesn't shut the board? Okay, our opponent could have an S or a blank. Um, that's okay. My object is to avoid closing the board. Um, I could stick a T right there. I don't think lit accepts. Hmm. Oh, also U does not lend itself well to long words, so I want to play U T. Um.
Could just exchange two. Yeah, with five flip five point challenge rule, it's dangerous to play risky words. Um because instead of the normal thing where um you'd be risking your entire next turn to do a challenge. Here, I could just do a challenge risking five points. And if it's... if I fail that challenge, um, all that happens is five points get deducted from my score or added to my opponents. Um, traditionally, under North American rules, you would lose an entire turn and that just yeah okay pretty sure that one's good pretty sure that one's good well i say pretty sure <laughs> i'm not entirely sure Let's get you. Oh my gosh. Well, that stings. Uh, yeah, I was not completely sure. So I thought that was worth challenging. Um, <sighs> thinking aloud helps sometimes. Um... I'm not sure about deck. No, XE definitely not a word. Um, Hard to read this board to know if I can block every possible thing they could try. Um. Also, I'm not completely confident in my twos. Their last tray play was parlors. They have an S. So to block this, I need to be careful.
That just opens the sex. That's no. Yeah, I don't see a way to block. That maybe blocks. We're just going to risk it, because I can't find a play. I think that's Collins only. Looking all over the board for anything I can do. Those. I'm giving them a gift in this corner. I don't like it. Can I play anywhere else? Okay, where do I put that? I may have a yes here. Do I have better? Good game. Let's export this game. And we'll do similar with other games. And that's quite a <laughs> report here, isn't it? Ga is invalid. Okay, that is good to know. Jeez. Uh, 
Huh. Right. Now I've done Aerolith so many times I should know better. Um, so yeah, these rounds are kind of quick paced. It's not going to be so much time to analyze between rounds. So I did download the GCG for a future analysis. Um, you can still see if there's some obvious something or else that I missed. Uh, that was invalid. Ewe was invalid. What should I do? Ron. Bairn. I only knew Brain. I, but Ron. Ron is a very nice find. I don't like the leave. The duplicated eye is not so terrible if you've studied sevens and eights. Uh, Win. Nice. Rawin. Have no. Rawin. Okay, well, apparently in examine mode, you cannot just get the definition so easily. That's a bummer. Uh, oh, I need to file an issue to, like, please allow us to navigate this with the keyboard. Rainbow. Does not bingo. Alright, minibar. Win and Wayne. Wayne, I should definitely know. I should know all the parallel plays. Uh, Cadi. Then here. Vin. Yeah. G, which suggests AG, but I don't have that. Yeah, so Virus as I played was excellent. Bab. Manad. I don't know what Manad means. Vonda. Oh, that's a word for Mario RPG. But probably from other places too. Did not know. Vonda. Anyway, I don't want to burn myself out before the next round, but apparently my plays were somewhat reasonable. Um. Jading is beautiful. Inked with Ak, Pei, and Id. Although, this is not really Ak, it's okay. Uh, naked, inked, need. But the concept is that this is the place to look. So I missed that. That was actually a pretty big miss. Aggie? Really? That is nice. Age, Agile, the Glee. I should know that one too. I've seen it played before. Gay? I considered this and thought it was not a word. It is a word. Uh, we're going to look up its definition so maybe I can remember it. Oh! That's not Collins. That's just North American as well. To go. Huh. No idea. Did not know that. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at how other things are progressing. We can analyze games in the future, not necessarily even as part of a live stream. Uh... <laughs> Alexine is a substance in the blood. It is not a botanical. <laughs> Let's be happy. I'm so sad. Yeah, he's trying to get the botanical word bonus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, we have started off to a one and one lead, incredibly. Um, really what I should do before round three is do some Aerolith to really reinforce knowledge of twos and threes. But, oh, well, mm, 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 we don't have a lot of time before round three. Most of the games have finished. I'd be holding every... No, we've got a minute. we got one minute. Let's... Nobody see this, alright? Like, I'm not spoiling today's challenge. You're not watching this. Alright, but... Um, 
Yeah, let's start. Oh, I should play the North American Challenge. Because uh, uh, even though most of these words are the same across both dictionaries, um, there are a few that are critically different. And it's important to note those differences if I'm playing with a given dictionary. So like CH would not be in there. Um, uh, what's that? Yi, I, and Na, Shu, Yi, Ja, Oi, Yo, No, An, U, which is Collins only. Ti, I, Da, Phi, Collins only, I think. Zo, I think, is also Collins only. Um, Let's go back to the word list. I meant to select North American Dictionary. Let's see if I can do this. I am Bali and Ne Um Nu B and O L An A As So I C is up, go, AI, go, R, P, or, ox, me, my, hey, um, mu, o, it's not o, it's l, o, lo, bo, uh, s, don't know, I'm skipping that, um, and mo, apparently are both fine, id, e, by, pa, at tie in chi mm is valid when did that get added oi yo a oh ho ga ga is not valid we played that last game and we're told that it was not valid and here i am still playing it again and this is off this is off all right show challenge results uh show solutions so it's ag. We missed that one. Um, but yeah, these are today's challenge. And if I'm scoring anything, if I'm making any errors during the challenge, it means I don't know the words. So um, I heard the little ding noise. We'll get back to the lobby in a second, but I want to read this first. Yeah, bah. What was the one I was surprised about? Up, Style Bastard, Dark Poe, Chamber Pot. Uh, whatever. It's not my object to keep us focused on this. So, um, yeah, back we are. I was not trying to spoil anything. I'm not trying to give anything away there. But I um, could have closed other browser tabs. And I am ready for round three. Here we see... Our opponent, Waggle81. So I should remember that it's AG, short for agriculture, not GA, because GA is something a baby would say. It's not a word. All right, we're facing another one-on-one -on -one opponent, so this could be super duper challenging. Full screen. Um, Vertical openings are fun. I'm going to dismiss the good luck element because that distracts me. So delete that. There we go. Um.
Railroad? I don't know. Uh, Railroa. It's when you're enjoying a Roa food item. That being a sushi food item. As you are um, traveling by rail. It would be Railroa. Uh, Jeez, this is going to be brutal. Lonelier? IER is a strong suffix. Can I shuffle my tiles? Okay. Oh, I don't have anywhere near enough for lonelier. Um... I don't think there's one there. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's bold. It's bold because that accepts an I on purpose. Um. Of course, I did not expect to draw these tiles, but that's okay. Now, by extending to the triple here, there could be a chance to play this. I could also block the triple. Oh, uh, also, I could do this. So if they intend to play off of my queue, they will be opening this triple. Pingoer. Something ending in goer. Uh, I don't know. Wow, this is awesome. On ing suffix, we got like the word raining among other things. Uh, ing. Let's stick that to the side. Raising, praising. Woo! 
That was nice. Nether? Well, we don't have two E's. But yeah, I favor an open board because I live for the variance. Um, I still need to learn all my twos, threes, two to three, three to four, all that stuff. But give me an open lane. I will find something. Anthrax? I don't know. It's not there. Um, it's close. Sadly, it does not fit the botanical category. Can you imagine, though? Because botanical refers to, like, flowery stuff. Um, and things like trees and flowers and uh, plant material or that sort of thing. So, yeah, if we had another A, yeah, that... That would not be a botanical thing. It occurs to me I could produce player profiles for every player if I could download every game in this tournament. I could figure out which people have which weaknesses and or playing styles and try to figure out how to exploit those playing styles. Even before the first tile is played in any game, I could have some idea of like here against that opponent, this is what I should be doing. Alright, so X something. Exanther. Uh, I don't know. Because, like, clearly my style is very heavily in favor of an open board. Um, so the way an opponent would play against that would be memorizing all the twos and threes and locking the board. If they can. Texan. <laughs> Texan's not a word. One can dream. Just stick the X here for not a lot of points. My opponent played a 16 point play. I think what I'm finding is that exchanging tends to be extremely strong. Um, if the board is open. That's 13 points right there without having to find anything else. I want to open the board, but I just don't see great ways to do it. Thanker? One who thanks? Um, I don't know. Nicely done.
So they have a three point lead because I don't know all my words. Unfortunately, this is not what I'd hoped for. I couldn't have blocked Jogs if I wanted to. Wrench. Trenchel. Wretch. Now that leaves behind LN. If I were to do instead over here, Chew. Not as many points, um, really not as many points. LNRT is kind of nice. Um, no, either way I'm burning my E though. That's the problem. Uh, so their last play was women. All right, we got ED. We've got ED. Not the word, but the suffix. And not some other acronym or anything, but... I played that risky play because I favor an open board. So much so that I'm willing to risk that. Um, just want to play a game. But also I was gambling because my opponent had played satires and then women. That... He probably did not have a vowel. In fact, he had two vowels, but they were a U and an I. So he played M-E. Uh, so I gambled the, the odds of him having another E, and then the final letter to seal the deal here were low. And I was already behind, and now I'm slightly ahead. But not really. Because it's their play, and I don't... Well, I have a vowel. But this is not great. I'm waiting for them to place something down so that I can play constants directly through whatever they put down. There's not an open vowel anywhere on the board. By my opponent's design, they've shut down the board, and so, I mean, if they have an 8 that goes directly to the triple word score, so much more power to them, but if they don't, um, then they might panic and be afraid that I might take the column O. There's an open D in column O, there's an open D in column K. So time is of the essence here. There's plenty of vowels still remaining in the bag. I think Butte has two T's, not one. I am incorrect.
Unroller, Ron Mueller. Round, Dower, Unroll, um. On is a strong prefix. Oh, I've got 13 minutes on my clock. 13 minutes to enjoy panicking looking for an 8. I don't think I have an 8. I don't think there is an 8, rather. Not just that I don't have one, but not uh, that like it's not even possible for me to have an 8 here given these tiles, uh, I think. If I could get rid of a U and an R and draw some better tiles, then yes, I might have an 8 uh, through the G, through the M, or through any of the columns up there, which I'm sure they're scram my opponent is scrambling to block at the moment. Okay, they blocked the G row here. Um, I mean, Dower, wait, what's the balance here? Three, five, six, seven, eight, two U's. Dear God. This is not the best bag in the world. Um, it's unlikely for a bingo to arise, especially in my opponent's rack, although they probably have the S. Interesting. Um, I need to play the U. Laundry, Loindry, something dry, dry loin. I don't know. It's not perfect. Oh, Kerr accepts a D. There is a D unseen to me. There are ten tiles in the bag. We almost have Foundry, which would be great.
orderly? No. We have an N there. N Y L. N Y L could be a suffix. D Y L could be a suffix. Unlikely, but stranger things have happened. So yeah, probably, since I don't know my opponent's tiles, this is probably what I should do next turn. Try to close the board, even though I favor open boards, like, there's just so much that could be in my opponent's rack at this point, and I did not get the letters I needed. So, something like this would be sensible, if my opponent doesn't play something like this first. All right, high scoring tiles are D and Y. We want to play the D and the Y. Mission accomplished. That was. Now is this where I want to play it? Not really. Um. But. Beggars can't be choosers. I am down by 20, even this. God. Aileron, diurnal. Jeez. Our land. I'm trying to find something starting with a D. <clears> hmm. <throat> so, I don't think I'm going to find something starting with a D, but I might find something that plays through an M. Assuming my opponent leaves that spot open. Unpolar? Unipolar? Um, unsolar? I mean, these things don't fit anywhere. I don't need to worry about it. I expected my op opponent to accidentally open something, and they didn't do that. Is dev actually short for developer? We need to challenge it. It is valid. All right. Bummer. So dower would be fine. Hoping to pick up decent tiles. There's not going to be an R in the bag. It's going to be difficult to find a word if I play the R and I don't get something good. Um, what else could I do? I want to play the U.
No, this is reasonable. This is a reasonable play. Islander? Opponent has six tiles. God damn it. So we gotta find some seven or eight here. Because if we do, it wins the game. Or at least it could win. <laughs> Something through the O. That would be special. Um, hmm. Denials. Something like this would have to play here. I don't see it. Does this even score enough to give it as a word? No, well. I know Elon's a word, but I don't know.
I don't see a word. We're going to try it. have to try it. All right, didn't think so, but... What? Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. What? Okay. Yeah, that's valid. Good game. Poe was not challenged. Okay, I was uncertain of Poe. Ah, yeah, I, yeah, could have had it, should have had it, would have had it, whatever. Bingo, uh, finding seven letter words with a blank is super difficult, so what other things did I have here? Uh... How many bingos did I miss here? Hmm. 
That stings, but you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Devi would have been nice. Alright, dealing. Yeah. So Devi, Deva, unideal, aligned, natal. I saw a natal, but it doesn't fit over here. Leading. Why did I see natal? Because like it's ridiculous. I saw planed. Okay, but none of these things fit in the upper right corner. There's aligned and aliened. Analid. All right. Interesting. So even after I missed all that, here, what did we have other than everything? Tideland, snailed. Okay. So I missed one bingo here, snailed. Uh, that's a good one to know. Oh, that, that would sting if I were good at this game. <laughs> See, if I had a reputation to uphold, like, boy, could I be salty about that? But, you know, it's my first online tournament of this sort. So, let's pull up the round one game and download that. Export. Alright, so that's exported. We'll figure out a way to get that into some database and parse it later. Um, oh, dang. That's brutal. That's so brutal. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Bingo, bango, bongo. <laughs> Jeez, really? That's so funny. So many bingo bango bongos. Uh, that seems pretty abnormal. Alright, my round... Oh! Okay, so I was the last round three game to finish. Uh, round four will start when the tournament director is ready for it. I'll be right back. I need a bathroom break. All right, sorry about that. I am ready. Here we go. My opponent plays first. How wouldn't it be cool if like Zafur were a word? I promise I was not trying to catch my opponent off guard with my bathroom break. But some mechan... well, I assume they're here. Let me get rid of this element, which is distracting me. To do, do, do this one here. Boop. Alright, there we go.
So hopefully this is the they have a tough rack. I'm impressed that my na my name is known. Um, but yeah, I'll take it. So my object here would be to play Zo or Zoa or something something valid in NWL twenty. Um Whew. All right. That is a nice open. Something like this that allows me to play double O, play my Z. Going once. Ah, I could score more points a line down, couldn't I? But I like open boards. But I have the F for four. Uh, I like open boards. We're going to try to open the board. Interesting. Just so there could be no confusion, I didn't accidentally place that in the wrong row or anything. I was certain that that was a word, and it's not a word. That's exciting. Yeah, I guess DZO, ZO, uh, a whole bunch of words are words, but Z -A or DZHO with the D in the front would be valid. But uh, that particular combination is not a valid play. Further, I could have just played... Oh my goodness. I could have done this on either side. And this would have been scoring higher. And valid. Um, so, oops. Let me bump up my volume a touch, because it is a bit quiet. All right, my opponent did not block my play, so we're going to play it this time. Okay. <sighs> really? Okay. Evidently, I don't know my twos. That is... Are those Collins only? Well, all right. I know I've played that before. <laughs> this we'll have to be careful from now on. Hmm. So we have given our opponent a forty-one point lead, effectively. And it's their turn to play, and they could go through any of the power squares, power tiles, whatever they want to do. It's all open season at this point. Because I've completely and oh. utterly failed to block anything. Um, I've been so obsessed with trying to get my O played so I could make myself bingo eligible that I forgot ZA is the only acceptable. Well, I don't know. ZE I think is acceptable in Collins and perhaps an NWL20. We never got that far. 
Don't have to worry about that anymore today, at least until round five through eight. But yeah, I was trying to open the board, and that did not work out at all. So, my opponent still has a 40-point lead. No, 35-point lead. I could hover over this to see the difference. Plus 35. So earlier they were up by 40, now they're up by 35. They just played IER along with other tiles, so chances are they do not have IER right now. There are four S's unseen, so chances are they have an S. And I don't think Horniers is valid. Oh, so I have pretty obvious next play. Control. So... Um... Yeah, now I'm behind by 20. <laughs> um, coup? C-O-U-P? Um, yeah, coup looks really nice. Um, this looks decent too. It uses up the eye. There are six eyes remaining. Uh, wait, isn't Fuchi also a word? I seem to remember this being a word. And if it is valid, then I could play off a U. Which is good, because I just draw another U. Yeah, I saw Fuchi is a word I learned in the last week. Um, I don't recall its definition. After the game, we'll look up its definition. I can't look up its definition right now or during the game, because that could affect either challenges I make or challenges they make. But yeah. I just remember being impressed that I knew foci being a ge geometric term. Uh, so I was just impressed to see, oh, there's a version of this that I could just play uh, a U instead of an O. And that sounds seems pretty useful. If I had an S, spicy would be nice. I'm not sure if that takes an S. I'm going to challenge it. All right. Uh, so I want to play a U and some of these tiles out there. Um, that's a low scoring play if there was one. Jeez, so what do we do? Uh, I want to play a U somewhere. So yeah, pun. Hornity. <laughs> Hornity with a Y there, can you imagine? That would be a nice scoring play if it were valid. Um... This will do. It's sad, but 
I think Kai is Collins only. Hmm. I N G if we had an N. There's three N's and two blanks remaining. Oh gosh, really? That's unfortunate. Um, well, that's my fault. Four A's in the bag. I'm down by a hundred. It's likely my opponent has an A. So I can't do mid over here. Idiom was the word I was just thinking about. Yeah, that's not bad. What? Why is... What? Okay. There's something I don't understand about that, but we'll find out after the game. Undo it. <laughs> Conduit without the C. Audition. Is there an A somewhere? No. Nope. We had an E instead of a U. We'd have sedition. Well, it doesn't fit. Um, that's sad. So U, D are the letters to play here. Like that. But um, we have a duplicated eye, which tolerates well, but it'd be nice to not be in the space. How do I play UDI? Well, this is not a bingo prone board anymore. 
Um, this could improve the bingo proneness of the board. We're going to try it. Okay. Well, we are down a ridiculous number of points. I'm pretty sure that is a word that will challenge anyway. Because we have to. Um, and now, ingot? Something like this? Uh, Okay. There's something I don't understand. Hmm. At this point, I've ceased to care about the score, so just have at it. I'm not sure if that, is that a word? It is. All right. There's got to be a some technique for I don't know. Like what if a player just wants to concede mid game? Because spread affects rating and uh, potentially affects other things. And because there is a resign button, so you don't have to wait for the player to time out. Like, how do you deal with that? As opposed to, like, them just screwing around like I'm doing now. Because, like, I've just basically become despondent in terms of this game. I know I have no chance of winning it. So I don't know, like, what I'm supposed to be doing now. <laughs> Look at that. EXPIOD blank. Oh, that's beautiful. Ox pride. Right? It's one of those ridiculous bingos that if I remember. Yeah. Alright, we have to challenge it. Whatever. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault for like not understanding. D, Ab, Jo, and Zo. I should know, at least this. I should know this. I should know. D and up, uh, not valid.
Yeah. So I have to explain to them, no, like, this is just me being an idiot. <laughs> Uh, and extremely stubborn. Uh, but yeah, also the reason I sped up is because like, I realized I couldn't win that. Yeah. They may or may not still be reading them. No. No, oh, they might still be here. Show list. No, it's just me. Whatever. Um. Yeah, the way this is laid out is not perfect, but all right. So, epoxied. I didn't even read the word. I just said, you know, this is the right time for a challenge. I know epoxy is a word. I know epoxied is also a word. I know that. So I cost myself five points at the end there, but. Uh, let's export the game for further review. Never. <laughs> uh, download that. Get that in a database. And at some point, write a program to help me. I know there are programs to help analyze games, but I want to find a larger pattern than the tools that are already available can produce. Um, tools that are available can analyze one game at a time. I'm looking for patterns. I don't care about details right now. So, obvious pattern number one, phony two-letter words. Um, so D and ob. Now, ob I thought meant an obstetrician, and I thought D meant... Well, let's look this up. Uh, so first of all, we said fusi. Uh, any of a genus of brown algae. Hey, there's a botanical word. Check that out. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Vax. V -A -S oh, wait. Can I actually get this through the interface? Yes, I don't have to do this through the word bot anymore. Um, yes, yeah, so let's take a look at the game. So, to clean with a vacuum cleaner. Or a vacuum cleaner itself. Yeah. Any of a genus of brown algae. Uh, so, I might submit that as... <laughs> A botanical word. Never thought I would be eligible for a prize, but apparently that's what the word means. So, um, yeah, can't exactly click on it. whatever. Uh, that's cool. So, let's see. Apparently, chose. So you can say choose chosen. Um, but chose is apparently also considered valid, and it's common enough. I just didn't know if it would be allowed. Epoxied to a glue with a certain type of resin. Yeah. Uh, beanies. A small cap. Oh! So it's not like the whole beanie baby thing. It's actually a valid word on its own. Uh, Jin here refers to super supernatural being. Uh, Stroll was really nice find on their part. Yeah, they, um, they drew both blanks and all four S's, and they used them excellently. Right? To, I, I mean, the fact that they're playing bingos means they cycle through the bag faster. But they played Vax, they played Sketed, they played, um, what was it? chose yeah and beanies and having played beanies they drew the cue that goes up here i should have blocked that spot they just um now there are things i could have done better to defend better but that defense is not my style yet although obviously this game i needed it um but yeah um oh yeah the thing i wanted to look up So that is Collins only. And I was surprised when I was learning the Collins words. Um, yeah, so it's in that book, but it's not in the North American word list. And further, it when indicated in the uh, Collins dictionary, is it, 
don't know if that's being removed or something. Like, what's the deal with that? But, um, and then if I define ob, oh, short for an objection. But I could swear that I've got a Scrabble book that contains ob, a dictionary that contains that. But apparently it's not an NWL20, so that's what counts for this tournament. Yeah, nicely played. 